Well, good morning, Gateway students. Are you ready for the next installment of the Place Setting or Movie Set project? It all comes together now. I'll be demonstrating SketchUp.com and how to make your final images, and I'll be demonstrating PhotoP, how to put catchphrases or titles on each of your images. You want to put them all together into a slideshow, which is to serve as an sales presentation for the IKEA Corporation. You'll want to sell your place setting. And so I urge you to be creative and have fun with this project. Without further ado, let me demonstrate. Okay, this assignment is when all of the previous guided assignments culminate into one final project, the place setting to movie set project. It's a sales presentation. You want to secure six images that you can put catchphrases or titles. It's a sales presentation. So without further ado, let's launch. Students have been saying that they can't find their assignments. I suggest, as you'll see, this here, where these pictures are, say recent files, but possibly if you click open Trimble Connect and navigate through folders in that area, you can actually find your movie set model. And to open, double click. And as you can see, I've added a rolling cart with a turkey on it. I've got my chandelier, my china cabinet, my artwork, my door, my wood floor. Everything looks composed, aesthetically pleasing. So I want to use, I'm in perspective view. I'd like to see all of these images in perspective view. So, you know, use the orbit tool to orbit in such a way and use your scroll wheel on your mouth to mouse to zoom in in a certain way to see if you can get a tight, tight shot like this. This would be a good beginning shot. So then you click export as PNG. And then don't forget to click the button in the bottom right it says export as PNG, continue. And as you can see, final movie set PNG is in the bottom left. That means that PNG file is in my downloads folder, safe and secure. So what do I do? I can grab my scroll wheel, maybe zoom in a second time and turn your image. Maybe use the pan tool. And again, you're trying to create a bit of a sales presentation. So my presentation, I'll be zooming in step by step. Now, I do the second image by going to the folder up here and clicking that folder, click export, PNG, there it is. Now I go to export PNG down the bottom right and select that button, boop, continue. And then you'll be looking to the bottom left corner of your screen. It says final movie set one PNG. So now I have two images for my sales presentation. I'm going to rotate again. Be maybe like this. Zoom in. My ultimate goal is to get a little closer to those. There we go. I'm getting closer to the table with each successive shot. Go to the file folder once again. Export. PNG. That's what it'll look like. So I click the button down at the bottom right. Export as PNG. Boop. Continue. Now I'm looking at the bottom left corner to see, do I have final movie set to PNG? And there it is. That means I have three images now so far in my downloads folder. And I go back to the orbit tool. So I'm getting my six images, maybe a, a steeper view, a top view. So I'm going to Look at it like this. And then I click this folder up in the upper left, export, 
PNG, boop. Go to the bottom right, you'll see the button. Export as PNG, click it. Continue. And wait for a moment for your fourth image to be in your downloads folder. And there it is, Final Movie Set 3. You can see one, two, three, four images so far, and they're all in my downloads folder to be placed in a slideshow. So we need two more. We're going to go to the Rotate Orbit tool. Maybe get this image. Now I'm going to start zooming in and getting really close to my table. Maybe this one. And then I hit the folder up here in the upper left. Export. PNG, go to the bottom right, you see the blue button, click it and continue. Now I'm really getting zoomed in on my place setting. See, and now I have five images in my downloads folder and I'm already on my last image. This is not rocket science. Let's move in really close here. Now you wanna make sure that this is a very nice aesthetically pleasing. So take a moment, get your composition so nice that IKEA cannot refuse your sales presentation. I think a little steeper of an angle, like so. And then I use the pan tool, the orbit tool, the scroll wheel on my mouse to work that image just like I want. Ooh, just a little bit more, rotate it, use the pan tool, bring it down, there. See, try to get the chairs over on the right. Don't have the chair cutting off maybe. Maybe try to keep a nice even border all areas. This looks very nice. So, what do I do? Last step, go to the folder, export. PNG, down to the bottom right, you'll see export PNG, click it, continue. And voila, I have five images in my downloads folder. And so I'm going to save, as you can see, my entire movie set model is saving. The next step will be to put catchphrases on each of your images and put them together on a slideshow. The next piece of this project is to navigate to www.photop.com and open the software. So now I want to navigate, I want to go file, open, navigate to my download folder, and open my first image. Now I want to put titles or catchphrases on each of my six images. Um, one thing to note, you can use this just like Photoshop. First click the T, and you'll see up here in the upper left the various fonts and sizes I recommend a larger size, possibly 60 point, and, um, and then uh, you'll move to the, the list of fonts here. Um, I'm just navigating and scrolling through. I prefer bolder fonts, so I'm just looking through to see, possibly, say this one, Candal. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to, um, also you can Pick the color of your font right here. Maybe select a more of a green color. So note, you'll, you can click here. You can select a spot on this. Uh, you'll see it's a dark green. Maybe I want a little bit of a lighter green. See, there's my new color. Then hit the Enter key. And you can see there's the new color of the font. And so now I click up here where I want to put it. And... I'm going to type in my first catchphrase. Um, now, if you'll notice over on the right side, you probably already have a layers 
um, information box here which shows background and your new text layer. Um, if you don't see it, you'll select up here, it says window, and then you can find layers there. So I see my layers, I make sure I'm on the correct layer where it says dinner is warm, and I want to then go to layer, layer style, stroke, and uh, here it says the color of my stroke will be red, but I don't want that, so I'll select down here in this bottom corner here where it's black and hit enter. So now I can see my layer style, or my layer color is, is black, and the font um, and the size of this. Now you can move this box and see how thick the outline is. As you can see, I'm trying to create more aesthetically pleasing graphics. There, that pops. Now you can put the position on the inside, the outside, that's inside, center, or in this case, outside, that looks nice. So I click OK. Uh, if you select background, and then you can also go layer, layer style, stroke. It's just like Photoshop. And you can have a border. Uh, maybe I'll select a green color for that. And then click. I tend to click Enter. And then I want the border on the inside so that it, the border squeezes in. As you can see, I slide the slider over, and there I have a created a border. I click OK. Also, you can use a select tool, select your font. Oops, Control-Z, I'm on the wrong. If you get make a mistake, just do Control-Z. So I select the correct layer here on the right side. Then I use a select tool, grab it, and then pull it and move it. I would prefer if you position your text so that it can be seen. Find a strategic location. Maybe it goes down here. That looks nice to fill that void. At that point, you'll go to File, um, Save as PSD, no, as PNG. Export as PNG, that is, or JPEG. It's up to you. And quality. Actually, I prefer the JPEG as I've done in class. So export as JPEG. And then slide the slider to 100% and click Save. And you can be rest assured that Final Movie Set JPEG is in your Downloads folder. So let's try that whole process one more time. You can even close this if you want. Actually, cancel. I don't think I should do that. Maybe File, Open, I Open Movie Set. Two. There's my image. I can go to my background. I can select layer, layer style, stroke. Gave me the same thing again. That's nice. Make it consistent if you so choose. Go back to your font. Click. Select down here. It still says 60 point. It says screen. It still has the same font. Put a catchphrase on there. So I put in a second catchphrase. Um, now I'm going to go to my layer, layer style, stroke. I want to have the stroke on the outside, maybe smaller. And back to the black color. Hit enter for OK. And then adjust here. How about six point? That looks fine. Click OK. And I'm still on that same layer, so I can select my... There we go. Come sit with the family. And I have a green border. Looks very aesthetically pleasing. File, export as JPEG. Make sure the slider says quality 100% and then save. 